All right, you know, I'm, uh, a second example here for, for our second lesson this week, and it's the angle of elevation of a weather balloon at a height of 1.5 kilometers is 34 degrees. How far from being directly under the balloon is the observer? How far from being directly under the balloon? All right, so from this one's slightly different than wording this question. This one's a tricky one because the from doesn't meet in this time doesn't necessarily mean that's our starting location, but we'll, we'll see what that goes in the question. So as always, with these kind of just only word questions where there's no diagram, draw a triangle. There we go. Put your right angle in. Now we know that the weather balloon is up. So here is the balloon, and we know that there's an observer. All right, we know the balloon is 1.5 kilometers in the air. Now, when we go back to the question, it's the angle of elevation of a balloon, and it's all referring to, well, where is this observer? So the angle of elevation in this question is from the observer. So we're gonna say 34 degrees is down here. And the question asks, if the observer's here, how far away are they from being right underneath the balloon over here? So we're asked to find this value here. All right, so looking at that again, labeling our sides, 1.5 is my opposite, X is my adjacent, opposite and adjacent, we're going to be using tan again, TOA. So tan of theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side, tan of 34 degrees is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. Remembering that when the denominator is our unknown, those two are just going to swip, swap places. So one X is gonna be equal to 1.5 over tan of 34 degrees. So X pulling out our calculator, we're going to do 1.5 over 10, 34 degrees. And what we are going to get is two, and it asks to the nearest meter. So that's, let's just go to 2.224 kilometers away. All right, so rounding to three decimal places for the nearest meter in these 2.2. So remembering the steps to that question, again, we read the question, we drew the triangle, we added the information in, forgot about the words, and just went, oh, look at that, that's a triangle with trigonometry. We know how to do that. All right, guys, don't forget, get that work. There's just a few questions for the Cambridge exercise. Submit that by Friday. Thanks, guys.